Hey, hey, hey! Today we're going to FTP and Telnet into our jailbroken Pandora Games 3D. Or a 3D Plus. Or a Pandora Saga for one. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, we'll need one of them and a Wi Fi or Ethernet network. So if you check out the video description, we've got a little zip file for you Pandora skins. If you extract that to your C drive, you'll be able to use that later in the guide. All right, we're going to use three pieces of software. The first one, Wireless Network Watcher. With this, we can see the IP addresses of any computer or device on the network. Okay, the second tool we'll use is called FileZilla. This is an FTP tool. That means File Transfer Protocol, which means we can pass files here and there. The third tool is Putty. With this, we'll use it for Telnet, which means we can run commands from our box. Okay, what I want you to do first is to go into our Pandora settings menu, go down to the bottom, and then set up Wi-Fi. Basically, select your router, and then log in. You can see I'm currently connected to Monkey Balls and my IP address. If you press the play button here, we should be able to detect it. If it's not in the list, you may have to wake up the Wi-Fi by going back into that settings menu. Oh, there it is at the bottom. You see it? 0, 012. Okay, in FileZilla, we'll press on new site. Type in the IP address we just saw. 192.168.0.12 and the port 7777. Log on type, anonymous. And on the right here, the new site, we're going to rename it to Saga 4188. Yeah, that could be anything. Your call, something easy to remember. Then hit connect. Okay, with FileZilla, you have the left side, which is our local site. This is our PC, our computer. And on the right side, we have what we're connected to. So we're connected to the Pandora here. So on the right, we'll go into data and then eData. This is where our games are and the skins. The PG3D and the Plus are in storage and external storage. So on the right, we can select these and we can drag them to the left to copy them to the computer or vice versa. Oh, ah, truck door! So anyway, let's find a skin that we like and we'll just copy it across. Simply drag and drop. You'll know they're copied correctly if the file sizes on the right are equal to the ones on the left. See? File size 906, 786, and all that. Yep. Yep, we're good. All right, now moving on to the intro video. This is the boot video. These are MP4 files, but they don't have an extension. They're just called boot video. To find that on the Saga, we need to go into System. You can exit here and then go into the ETC folder. And here we have a boot video. The system folder here is write protected, so we'll need to change that with Telnet. Once you jailbreak with Pandora, we actually provide a backup, which is in data Pandora. There it is on the right. So we're just going to create a directory on the left. This is on our PC, remember? Backup. And then we'll just drag and drop. Now you've backed up the file to your computer, you can actually get rid of this file if you wish. You'll save almost 8 megabytes for that. If you're desperate, go ahead. So let's go back into data and then eData. So this is the root folder. If you wanted to, you could create a directory here. You can make ROMs for RetroArch or something like that. Like so. And then you could do it all remotely if you wish. From here, just drag, drop. As the Saga only has limited space, it may be best using a USB stick for RetroArch and its ROMs. All right, so let's take a look at the games folder. So if you want to export 
any ROMs or export the list, this location is extremely handy. In data, you have all of your games. The common folder here has files which are shared between the emulators. For example, BIOS files, etc. Just remember that the Saga systems and the earlier Pandora Games 3D systems all have files that are encrypted, so you cannot easily just switch in and out BIOS files or MP4s or videos or whatever. But with the plus, you can. Let's go to the plus. Wait, that's not right. There we go. Looks very similar to before. Let's have a quick browse. Okay, so if you stick this micro SD card into a PC, you can read it, but you can actually access it here in storage, external storage, and SDA1. This is my micro SD. See, there's the games folder there. And it's a complete mess. Yeah, there we go, there's a games folder. And if you notice, there's no skins folder here. That's because the plus works a little differently. For that, we need to go into data, config, skin. They've hidden it here. The same as before, we just drag and drop. Like so. Now let's have a look for that boot video. So go into system. And then ETC. You'll find it here. So with the backup we just made before, what we're going to do is overwrite the plus video with the one from the saga. Oh dear. Now the reason why we could not transfer is because the system partition is protected. So for that we need putty. So we'll log in to the same IP, this time with the port 4444, and then hook up to Telnet. We can save that as plus. And we'll just hit open. A right, lovely blank box. Okay. So you can pop in Linux commands like so. LS, that lists the system contents. How about DF? Okay, DF, you can actually see how much space you have free on each partition. So the ones you need to look out for are system here, which is here. We've got 274 megabytes free, and the data. We've got 222 megabytes free. That's not much, so you need to be a bit careful with that, especially if you're loading up RetroArch. Oh my god. Okay, so let's make the system writable. It's unprotected. So we're going to hit mount, minus O, space, RW, comma, remount, space, forward slash, system. Once you've done this, you can actually write to your system partition. But don't mess about too much, otherwise it may result in a brick. Eep. Let's find the boot video again. System. EDC. All right, I'm just gonna drag and drop. Once you reboot your Pandora system, it'll revert to unwritable. So you'll be right. Yeah, FileZilla does not remove everything automatically from the fail transfer list, so you always get the error messages unless you actually just remove them all like so. And yeah, just right click and then remove all. So if you click left mouse button and then press F5, it'll refresh. Your file size should be the same. Okay, so what else can we do? Well, the older PG3D and the Saga systems are encrypted, but this one, as I said before, is unencrypted. So we can actually change files in and out at will. 
we go to external storage, SDA, games and data, the common folder is where we have our BIOS and shared game files. If we check in the FBA42 folder and go down to N, and here the Neo Geo.zip, what we can do is replace that with the Japanese version of it, and then it would essentially make all of our games uncensored. Bloods on and da 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 da. But we would have everything in Japanese, unless it supports English. What we could do, however, on the Saga and the older Pandora Games 3Ds is load up a game, load up the dip switches, remember the jailbreak, start and button D, go down a blood, set the options how you wish, exit, So as soon as we get to the title screen, we're going to save the state. I'll save all of the settings we just set. I'll save it into an underscore 1.fs file. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename mslug.fs, which is the file that's loaded as soon as you load up the emulator. So I'm going to rename it to .back. And the underscore 1 file, we're going to rename that to mslug.fs. So, as soon as you load up next time, you'll have all them settings you just set. You can also switch in an MP4 file if you want to change the snap videos. Or if you wanted to, you could change the ROMs or configuration files for MAME. So if we do this, unfortunately, it actually puts a coin in if it loads the state automatically. So if you don't want that to happen, you're gonna have to live with the manual pushing menu load state. Let's check out some of the skins. Make your own skins and share with the community. Go on our Discord. Have a nice chat. As always, thanks to our patrons Willem Elbers, Martin Palmer, Wilbert Rivera, Ran Polrath, Kevin Sanchez, Francesco, Lee Dragon 999, Jose Lopez Palenzuela, Khalil Reedy, Chris Hannard, Giovanna Castaldi, Lazy Waves, Javia, Jim McConaughey. Thank you all.